What a beautiful sunset. You know what a sunset reminds me of? It reminds me of an ending. You know what dawn reminds me of? A new beginning. Well, as there will be a dawn tomorrow, there will be a new dawn once Jeff Gordon leaves after next season. Okay, so this video I was going to do pretty much no matter what, but it was requested. I never get requests. This might be like my second request in my two years on the website. So, ooh, smells like barbecue. Um, so why don't I just take a moment to talk about the end of Jeff Gordon and pretty much the end of NASCAR before Brian the fuck up France. Um, now I have nothing to talk about. Well, that's fantastic. I was thinking about where I should start with this. Should I start in 2004? Should I start in 2006? Should I start last year? Ah, screw it, let's go with 2004. So 2004, to most Jeff Gordon fans, is where they began to despise the whole chase system the very first season that it was enacted. Uh, because, oh my goodness, I don't remember what happened. It, it was something to do, I think it was Darlington. Something about pit road, I, I, don't, I don't fucking know, I'm gonna shut up now. Let's go to 2006 because I can relate a whole lot more with 2006. Okay, so, 2006. I'm pretty sure we all know where we're going with this. Now, it is very obvious that I have zero favorability towards Jeff Gordon. Ever since I started watching NASCAR, never liked him. Never. So with that being said, Let's talk about 2006 Chicagoland. Oh, I remember that race. Now, I should have studied up on what happened beforehand because there are very few Jeff Gordon fans that will say that um, Chicagoland was a um, mistake on Gordon's part. Most people that I will talk about that like Jeff Gordon will say that that was retribution. I probably should have studied up. It must have been Bristol. Where it must have been that fight at Bristol between Gordon and Kenseth that sort of justifies what happened at Chicagoland. But I must not have seen that race and still not have to this day. I only know about that fight because it's in a whole lot of compilation videos that NASCAR airs and is on YouTube and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, the only reason that I ever liked Matt Kenseth in the first place back in 2006 was because I was anticipating that Mark Martin was going to retire in 2005. Right? At the end of 2005 he was supposed to retire? Or was that 2004? Fuck it, I don't care. Um... Not has any. Not, it doesn't have anything to do with really what's happening right now. The fact is that he was still there, and I, I still had my whole favorability towards Matt Kenseth because I thought Mark Martin was going to retire. So I had that favorability towards Matt Kenseth. Which means that I was leaning in support towards him. I had a bias towards him. And I, well, kind of still do to this day. I mean, it really did have a lot to do with Matt Kenseth that I like the people that I do now. But different subject for a different day. God fucking damn it. Turn off your fucking high beams. 
Those headlights probably aren't even fucking legal and you have your high fucking beams on too, fucking ass face. God damn it. God damn it. Uh, I'm sorry for that little outburst. So when that happened, when that wreck happened with like four or five laps to go and Gordon went on to win the race, I was like, oh, fuck that shit. Fuck you, Jeff Gordon, you ass. And that was how it basically carried on to this day. Like in 2010, did he even win in that season? I mean, there were like five or so races there that he was leading. How many? There were a whole lot of races where he led the most laps but didn't win. I mean, for someone who hated Jeff Gordon as much as I did after that 2006 Chicagoland race, 2010 was a good year. I mean just sitting there watching these wins escape from his hands. Oh my goodness, it felt like Mark Martin all over again in 2007. Fuck that season altogether. My goodness. You had my two most hated drivers in NASCAR in 2007 vying for the championship. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Jeff Gordon versus Jimmy Johnson 2007 championship. I'm like, oh, fuck that. I mean, I didn't even watch the 2008 Daytona 500 after that season. My goodness, that just turned me off from NASCAR. Um, so 2014. Without the, ch you know, honestly, the chase grid is the reason why Jeff Gordon didn't win the championship. If it was like 2013, 2013 season points going on there, I think Jeffy Jeff would have won. I don't know like the actual um, numbers behind it because I'm sure that's on Jayski, but I'm currently driving and cannot look at the internet at the moment. So I can't be for certain. But I do know that the circumstances definitely would have been different People would have driven differently than they had, and Jeff Gordon probably would have won the championship under 2013's point system. And there's... Okay, let's see here. Which races were they? There was Phoenix, Texas, and... Oh, goodness, what was the first race in that series? It was the first race, then Texas, then Homestead. If Jeff Gordon had been able to collect himself two positions on the racetrack in any of those first two races, because Phoenix was the Kevin Harvick show, okay? Phoenix was the Kevin Harvick show. And I'm really glad that I didn't watch it. I thought that race was gonna be race of the year for sure. No, it was the Kevin Harvick show. It was just as big of a letdown as Richmond. I'm so glad that I had to work that day and didn't have to fucking subject myself to that snore fest. But anyway, as for those first two races in that series, all I needed to do was collect two more positions on the racetrack. So you can't say that it was indeed Ryan Newman's fault that Jeffy Jeff was bumped out of the chase. I've arrived at my destination, so I'm just gonna keep talking until I'm done from a parked position. And what is this glare going on? You see, I turned the camera on my face, but I don't even think you can see it's so fucking dark. Yeah, I'll just do it like this. Here, I have nothing else to look at anyway. Um, I can turn off my car too, I don't wanna waste gasoline. Oh, look at that, more fucking high beams. What a, f everyone's a douchebag in this town, anyway. And these people forgot to turn off their lights. Look at that. Look at... Can you see that? Can you see that shit? There he is. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. What the fuck? I'm, an... I'm hearing voices in my head. What the hell? Did you hear that? I'm, I'm not crazy, am I? Anyway. Um... Yeah. So... I will have a 2015 season predictions video coming out in um, 
probably a week or so. I need to find time to um, record it. I will give my 15 bold predictions for the 2015 season. Next year, I'll probably do 16, you know? Keep a tradition like that going. Anyway, um, I will give you a sneak preview, though. One of those predictions is that will is that Jeff Gordon will win three races. I'm not the only one here in this, am I? Are the, like, Jeff Gordon voices in my head going, ah, fuck it. Jeff Gordon will get three wins next season. One of them will be the Brickyard. That is my one of my 15 bold predictions for the 2015 season. And yeah, I should turn off my light. Um, anyway, yeah. Maybe I'll do a more professional video. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Um, yeah, well, I'll see you in that. Bye.